So you probably have always known that the Raw after WrestleMania has been kind of a thing, right? I didn't have to. I didn't know. I got the feeling though that they were like emphasizing it a lot nowadays. Like the last two years, they've constantly been talking about it. Well, that was unexpected. I mean, not unexpected. That was like uh, not very emotional. His fifteenth reign. No, I'm saying like the way he pinned them, like, hey, there's a mark. Yeah. But he's a kid, so fuck me. Yeah. What is this? Number 13 or something for Orton? I do not know. I didn't look that up. There we go. We're at 15 seconds. Oh, it's over! 22 seconds. No, let's just go get his revenge, man. Unless you're paying him a shit ton. We're at 40 seconds. Oh, once you get past the two minute mark, Goldberg gets tired. Corey, what does Lester have to do? I have no earthly idea. We made it to a minute. Twenty-five seconds. So we succeeded that. So far, still going. But around the two-minute mark is when Goldberg gets fucked. Because if Goldberg retains net, they wouldn't do a rematch with Rock, would they? No. Lesnar doesn't work for us. We work certain laws. Not all the laws. How do we dress on our laws? He's it. Raw appearances. No, but actually competing. He does his A minute 44. 147. No way is Lesnar going to survive that. Two minutes. It's almost superhuman response by the Universal Champion. This is the longest match these two ever had. Well, WrestleMania 20, never mind. But so far. Lester's in trouble. Like the new era. Oh, 
Hardy Boys returning. Oh yeah, we can't beat that. Or it might get you, like, say, John Cena to do that. Oh, you know, it's probably lovely. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, these movies. Four minutes and 45 seconds. That's the record. Yeah, longest match ever. Give him that ugly title. I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Throw it in the garbage. Hacksaw Jim Duggan finds it later. Defends it against Bobby. Eaten on a WCW. Trains it in for a sandwich. <laughs> Ellsworth makes his WrestleMania debut. Really? Well, he's not wrestling, does he? But it's still a debut. No, not a match debut. Tag oh, but yeah, it's still okay. a debut. Yeah. So he's Carmelo's bitch, he's just getting Why does he look like the poor man's version of Eminem? <laughs> I think Summer Rae and uh, Emma are going to be this too. One of these days, she's going to come out with some cum infested shit on her gear. Because underneath those neon lights, you can see everything. He's thinking that always does. You know what I'm talking about, right? What? Because you can see cum stains in that kind of light. Oh, I didn't know that. How do you, you put a blue light over your pants? You can see cum stains. If you. Yeah, it makes sense, but I don't pay attention to the Yeah, I see you. We're saying because she does this shit. Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. One of these days you're going to see some cum stains. Yeah. A little embarrassing moments. Yeah. Because she does the new light thing all the time. They're, I think they're called oops moments. Yeah. You gotta think Jay Uso must have squeezed on her one for a fight. He's in. Or is it Jimmy? I forget. One of the Usos must have squeezed on her on that wrestling game. You know, deep down, once the show was over, they go back to the hotel and they yeah. just fuck like he's a loser. And just squeezes all over that top, you know? And it doesn't matter how much you watch it, it'll be forever there. Part, part of the sex process is... No, but I'm saying, yeah, as, much as, as much as you wash it in the washing machine, it's not going away. Under know. blue light, you can see everything. Yeah, it's like it was like, you know... Or like one of these days, she's gonna come stay on her face because she forgot, she forgot to wash it. Something, oh, something about Mary. Yeah. <laughs> 